Okay, so we're back on our project where we uh, working with a um, custom shower system that has a diverter, three function diverter that we've been put in um, a few weeks ago. Today we're almost pretty much done with the project and uh, it's time to put final pieces of the puzzle, all the trim pieces, uh, shower head, diverter trim that all the parts are laying here and uh, also this piece, this elbow piece that uh, be supplying water to the handheld. So I'll be starting from uh, putting this elbow piece. Uh, I have this pipe, uh, prefab pipe uh, fitting that I uh, purchased to fit to the wall. So I'll show you the steps, how it goes. Uh, we have those pieces, we will also need a Teflon tape to attach it, so let's go to the shower and start slowly. Okay, so you've seen how uh, it was done behind the wall, right now we have already tiles. We have to hook up this uh, elbow piece, so what I will be doing, I have this connector uh, precisely measured. I'll be using Teflon tape as a main sealant, so water will not penetrate and leak eventually. So I'm putting this Teflon tape on both sides of the uh, our connector. And this is how it's pretty much done. We have this side. And I'm gonna also do it right away because it's a short piece. It's pretty tricky to put it in. But I'm also gonna put this right now on the uh, other side. And uh, you will see how it goes in just a moment. All right, so one threaded end goes to this hole and I'm gonna use this players but very gently to not damage the thread that we have I'm not really forcing anything so we have this part already in it's pretty tight and we have uh, this elbow piece that we will attach to this pipe that sticks out over here. So this is the maximum can be done and to this uh, fitting here we will connect later um, our hose that will be connecting uh, connected to the handheld. The next step will be shower head. Alrighty, so uh, the next uh, piece of the puzzle we have a shower head, we had the pipe for the head, we have all those pieces for the valve, uh, screws that will hold our handle, trim piece to cover the cutout in the tile, this piece of trim also to cover the valve and all the equipment needed. So this is the next step. Uh, of what we will do when putting these pieces together for the Moen custom shower system with a handheld and three function diverter valve. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so have all the pieces here. The way I'm starting, I'm always putting the trim first, I'm actually this trim is we can put it later. Some of the trim pieces will be metal, 
so we ha the, we can only slide it from this side and then put the Teflon tape but in this case I can actually do it from the other side as well so yes yeah, same situation Teflon tape on our thread uh, that we will be hooking up over there the Teflon Our trim piece it goes like that. I already flashed the system, but remember to run the water before <laughs> putting uh, the pipe, the final fitting here, the, the shower head. Uh, it's good to flush the uh, entire pipe system uh, so there's no any debris uh, clogging the filter, this little mesh that we have in the shower head and stuff like this. this because we will scratch the fixture it has to be precisely matched to the size that we need I'm using this wrench to do so then I will adjust to the correct size and then Gently tightening this. To the point where it's tight enough it can be easily used. Okay. This is it. And as you can see, the shower head in place, the elbow for the handheld in place. Right now, we will work on the trims for the main valve and for the diverter. All right, so we're starting from the trim for our valve that will nicely fit over here. Uh, we have all the components already. Uh, prepared we have this trim that goes first always this is for Moen then we have our plate we have our plate this is pretty fancy type of plate not just the standard one been uh, special ordered it came with the kit that we have Another step, of course, to tie the bolts and not doing this all the way just yet. Then, because the other pieces that were we actually adjusting the amount of, of hot water getting to the shower head. By uh, changing this, we can set up if you want to uh, hot water or just warm water present. This is a safety feature, especially for the kids, for little ones, so they will not put too hot water at themselves. We, of course, uh, dealing with adults in this case, and we setting up this to the maximum. But another important factor will be to not really use screw gun to tighten those final fixtures because we cannot really control the screw gun too well and we might damage the uh, uh, heads of our bolts 
if using a screw gun uh, when tidying. So I'm using this hand tool Phillips to nicely attach it to the maximum. This is it. And those are those pieces. Another piece will be piece where we later will attach our knob and it goes over here this actually blocks so you see if adjusting the temperature we can put this uh, stopper more in this direction so in turning the, the, the knob will not go all the way you see this is uh, how it's kind of stopping here so yeah we're gonna do it to the maximum This is it. Okay. All the remaining screws ready. And the last piece, of course, will be handle. We have this hex key that usually comes with a Kit. Um, placing handle here and attaching the handle, tidying to the maximum. Okay, this is it. We can tie it even a little bit more. Make sure to use correct tools, right size hex, uh, right size uh, Phillips. The very last piece will be this little cup that will cover that will cover this hole where we have the screw going through. Sometimes not in this case. In this case, we have different type of mount, but this piece goes here as a last. And, um, and yes, yeah, so this is it. This is fixture the trim piece for the valve. The next step, diverter. All right, so diverter ready to go. Have all the components laying here on the shelf. We have, of course, similar pieces as, uh, as for, the, for the valve, because it's pretty similar type. So we will be starting from this piece. It goes over here our main trim piece for covering the valve we have this piece as an extension that will come out a little bit later and also a little bit smaller size of the trim that goes on top to cover the whole thing Okay, so another piece, and we have second screw that actually holds this on the opposite side. And we're tightening this because here on the back there is a another gasket rubberized piece that actually seals and protects from water leaking to the cutout in a towel work that we have. We can of course additionally add some silicone uh, to fill this seam. So it all depends on the situation that we have and if it's nicely tight to the wall or not. Pretty much same situation here. Tightening this to the maximum. Okay.
Okay. And now we have this piece as a kind of filler. That sometimes it's good to use, but in this case we will probably not will not need it. So uh, so yeah, so this is the actually handle that we will be attaching in just a second. We don't need this extension piece. I believe that this is kind of extension piece that we can put optionally. In this case, it's just not needed. Okay, so this is our diverter piece. This diverter, to, to turn it on, we are actually pulling this out, right? This is how to how it works in this case. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm here and I will get wet if I try to mess with this at this moment. But this is it. And the uh, same situation, the last final trim piece that actually goes here. And here we have those two little dots, let's say, that indicates in which position the diverter is. Here in the middle we have both of them and regular shower head and the handheld that we will work in just a moment working together. But so this is shower head, this is handheld, and here in the middle both of the fixtures working together. So this is how it progresses. The next step will be handheld and the bar for the handheld. We will have to drill some holes in the porcelain. I'll show you what I do to make it happen. We're opening our, our box with the handheld uh, components. We have a handheld shower head, we have a mounts that we will attach to the wall, that will be screwed into the wall. We have one and two. So, we also have another cup pieces later to, to put here, to cup it off, to cover the screw that we will use. We have this hose that will be connected to the elbow in the wall and the shower head that we have over here. We have some anchors that they attaching here from the manufacturer. I might use those, we might use different ones. I'll check for that in just a moment. Here we have the sliding bar. We have the sliding bar with the recessed head. So this is how it works. And it will be attached to those pieces here. And we have additional piece that will actually go, like a filter piece that will go on our handheld. All right, so we try to figure right now how to put this, this uh, bar and it's always recommended to see what needs to be done, double check the dimensions before drilling any holes. Uh, of course, uh, with each kit with a shower system, there are manuals that specifying the distance between the bolts, how to drill the holes, but uh, I'm always trusting my measuring tape versus what they say in the manuals has happened before that different manuals been attached to different fixtures. And what I'm doing, I'm checking center to center uh, where we have the, the bolts going to hold this bar, the handheld bar. Uh, and I'm measuring here for this small end, uh, it's 30 inches and a half. So 30 and a half will be distance between our holes. Uh, we will use some anchors. Uh, I'm going to use different ones that other that, that they included. The ones they have were a piece of crap. So uh, not really designed to be used in the shower, really. So I'll be using mine. But now the next step will be to figure position on the wall. 
So let's go to the shower. Okay. So the original idea is to have our handheld somewhere here and this is what I will be placing it. So the hose will actually hang over there and then we'll continue here and of course we don't want this handheld to be attached to the our, to our accent that we have we will do it below we never also doing this right against because it just doesn't look clean some spacing need to be of course uh, over there left but most likely somewhere here so the hose can easily hang and then be attached to our elbow that sticks out from the wall so most likely this is where I will have this in or stencil will be needed I'm gonna mark it somewhere here and I'm gonna mark it somewhere here as our center I'm gonna also check if the doors not hitting this bar too much keep it in mind as well but I can tell that we can easily open our frame frameless door without being worried about anything. So another piece of equipment needed of course will be level. Got level. Stand up extant strony to what we will time stand trochę. Także było widać co robię. Okay. Alright, so one of our points is here. I'm making the first point. And then I'll be starting from this point, going down. 30 and a half is our number, our lucky number is 30 and a half. I'm using pencil, because pencil can easily remove from most of the surfaces. Exactly where I have this mark, so this is correct distance. And the next step will be, of course, drilling holes. Uh, for <laughs> this purpose, uh, I will use uh, my uh, special bits because those are different bits for the masonry, for porcelain, for stone, and. Uh, and I'll be using different bits uh, other than the wood. So let me wrap a few of those to show you what I'm using. This is the type of a drill bit that is the most recommended to be used for the tile. It says glass and tile bit set. has different sizes. Of course, I'm checking uh, dimensions with the size of the anchor that I will be placing it, placing in. Um, so this is the next step and you'll see how it goes in a few seconds. Alright, so I'm starting from the little bit smaller size bit uh, that will help me to drill the holes a little bit easier in the first place and then I will use a little bit larger one that fits to the size of the anchor to do it correctly, to the correct size. Second one we've got over here. I'm not really forcing this bit. Uh, very gentle to not break the tire. Now I will 
have a little bit larger bit to enlarge the hole that will fit to the size of our anchor. The next step will be to attach the bar and the rest. Alright, so I have the pins, I drill the holes, I enlarge the holes and I have those anchors already in place. I have to customize them a little bit because they're not really working too good with, uh, uh, with the pieces that we have over here. It's kind of not the greatest design, but those are in place and the next step for me will be to of course, attach the bar. Our, our bar. And this is how it will go. And on this side, I'm going to start from the lower element. Remember to use always non corrosive screws when it comes to the wet areas. And I'm going to tie it gently with this hand screwdriver. here as you can tell we have this really nicely figured and measured so the anchor actually is where it's supposed to be I'm placing the top fixture over here nicely in place and we'll put the second screw in here Also to the center, certain point only. And we'll tighten it with this hand tool. We don't want to tighten it too much. Keep this in mind. It holds really well. Not much more need to be done. the bar is in place and the last parts will be handhold piece and the hose of course okay we have this piece that will be helping our pressure this goes first before actually we attach the hose we also put in this uh, gasket with the mesh to collect any debris that might appear in the water system we don't have to use any heavy equipment, it, we're just tying this with the hand pretty much at this point, to the maximum, as much as we can, we're we'll good to go. Another piece will be our handheld hose that will be attached over here and of course hooked up in this place. So the next piece I'm connecting. Same situation, I'm not using any plier, pliers, just wrench to delicately tie it without damaging surface. You don't have to go too strong on that as well. It holds very nicely. In the meantime we have uh, those cups that capping our 
holes for the screw. And we are almost there. So the very last piece will be hand hook. Really nice, nicely designed. And this one will be here. What we have, we have of course this gasket already. Remember about it. And we just tighten this the way it should be done. We don't need any tool also to do it. Just use the power that you have in your hands. And this is it. So this is the installation of the handheld and the three function diverter trim along with the valve trim and the shower head. Everything is ready to go. I have to clear the space slightly and then we'll see how it works. Thank you for watching and well hopefully you're finding this useful. Really nice. Okie doke, so we already tested, we started, so let's, let me show you how it works. You see without this being pulled, we can change the temperature the way we pretty much want and water will not run, but I'm opening just a little bit and this is what we've got. So right now we have regular shower head on this position. We will switch this here up and now we have a handheld also running water. So going all the way to the bottom we have only handheld. Going all the way up we have regular shower head. This is second function and the third function is uh, and the handheld and the regular shower head working. Of course we're losing pressure using both but uh, this is good option also to have and right now everything in really great working order so this is how this system works diverter valve and a handheld on the bar really nice combination really helps especially in maintenance having handheld we can reach all the areas when done with the showering to wash it so there's no soap remaining on the floor on the ground thank you for watching once again and well that's it that's it from this project runs really nice I'm ready to take a shower. <laughs> so this is it.